I just thought today we'd have a nice chilled out look around the garden and um, a little bit of a, I don't know, a, a sort of garden tour if you like. And uh, I'm doing that for the simple reason being, um, I think that I'm way behind and it's easy for people to think that when you look on social media. So today's going to be a chilled out video going to be just having a little look at what's going on in the garden and how far behind I am. So the compost bins, if you've been a patron member or a membership member you'll have known I emptied all the compost out of these and we filled them all with uh, cow manure so that's their rotting down now. I've got a slight problem here in that um, the side wall splayed out from the weight and it's obviously pushed that out so I need to empty that one and um, we'll be away. Up here, as you can see, I've got a bit of rubbish to get rid of here. Um, this is where the compost is just going into the, you know, the sort of materials. And what I'm doing here is I'm storing them. So this is all the old stuff that's coming out of the old, you know, off the garden and things like that. Here we have a compost bay. It's absolutely chock-a-block with grass. Now there's three loads of grass in there. We, can, we use that for mulching and as a nitrogen source for the um for the compost making and this is wet but it's boiling i don't know if you can see if i open this up if you can see the steam coming out of that it is absolutely boiling so this will be a good nitrogen source for the thing this year is a big carbon source now this was all the prunings out of the fruit garden and everything else and you may have seen that I've got a couple of pallets here that I want to split up. I need them for finishing off the cold frame that we'll show in a moment. And like every other good garden, I've got a few weeds here I need to deal with. The outside grape um, needs a little bit of work. I need to prune on that. Um, again, I just haven't had the time. Uh, the plum trees are all looking good. And if you saw the last video, you will have seen all of the fruit. So that's good. We've got a couple of purple sprouting broccoli there that's gone to seed and we need to pull them out. So the rhubarb, rhubarb, whatever you want to call it, is doing fantastic. And as you can see, it's hidden that IBC already over there. So um, that's doing really, really good. We've got some peas down here. Um, we've been hitting by loads of wind, so they're really struggling and we'll, we'll deal with that as we go. This area has got a few weeds where we had some manure sat on the ground and some compost. The weeds managed to come up in the manure. I've spread it out and we'll just deal with that as we go. Clematis is doing all right. Climbing rose is starting to, to go as well, so that's cool. This is something that most of you won't have seen. It's a brassica cage. Um, I've just started planting out in it. And this cage um, I built the poles here are what was left over from when I built the fruit cage and I had to sort of fashion some brackets together but the great thing is it's quite a large cage I built a good door for it as you can see and we're able to uh, make sure that no butterflies get in here I've still got loads to plant out at the moment guys that's why the ground's looking so bare here the asparagus have had a bit of a poor show so far this year. Um, we've only got a few that have come up. But um, I've dug around in it and they are there. They are fine. They are coming up. So the raised beds, all doing okay, except I put some brassicas out and they've been absolutely slammed. Um, I think they've gone down too deep and hit the manure, which I think is still a little bit rich for those and uh, and they haven't been too happy there so they've gone and likewise on this one so i'm assuming it's the manure the herb garden's looking fantastic again um the rosemary's in flower the bay again is struggling a little bit with the wind and what have you that we've had up here and we've got some brown leaves appearing on that but we'll get it all sorted i've got a ton of beans waiting to go out but for the next few days i'm up in york at a blogging convention so um so this will have to wait now until sunday but and that's why i'm making this tonight so it is ready for you guys for tomorrow but the herb garden's looking really good brassicas under this netted cage are, are doing really well um they're coming up 
Likewise of the red cabbage up here. The garlic's all doing good. As you can see, the roses at the back there are doing fantastic. All of the, um, we'll have a little look up there now, but all of that's doing well as well. We've got some broccoli in here doing well. Broad beans are really struggling this year and I planted them late as well, which didn't help. So down here a little bit further, all of the lavender is looking fantastic again. We have some purple kale. We've got uh, Taunton Dean kale there. I've planted a few artichokes out and they were only planted yesterday, so they are wilting a little bit, but they will come back. Um, and I've got still got all that wood chip to move down there, but, but essentially, you know, the, the garden is tidy enough. So, all this area has all been planted up ready for summer now. Um, as you can see, the tulips are going over. Hostas are looking fantastic. Um, but we have a ton of stuff in here that's gonna come up. Um, like you could see like the lupins and stuff there. We've got loads that are gonna come up through, through this. I've even got, I've just noticed now, we've even got some comfrey there. So that's seeded from somewhere. So I need to get that out. Um, so the well-being garden area, um, still a mess. As you can see, I've been sweeping up here. Um, I've got to get in here, but I have planted a few more clematis and jasmine in these areas for them to finish climbing and they are starting to climb and the same over on this one. So hopefully now these will push up and fill these walls. The pallets I was on about, this is where they're gonna go. They're gonna put the shelf in like this one up there and then this will be the cold frames that are pretty much done apart from the walls I need to finish. I'm way behind in my tunnel, as you can see. Um, this is where I've brought in loads of manure and compost. It's all still piled up here. We ripped out the shelving along that side and I've chucked that in. And as you can see, the, the manure has just brought in tons of weed seed, but they are really easy to, um, if I just scrape this, look, you know, they're gone, done. So um, they're really easy to pull out. So a, a quick hoe over this and it'll all be done. Spuds are waiting to go out. Um, I've built the watering system for that. So I'll shortly show you that. Um, so they're the earlies and we've got the main crop just coming through all along there. As you can see, my tunnel is an absolute mess. Um, I'm still trying to catch up from uh, being behind and being away so much over the last few weeks uh, with one sort of convention or another. Right, coming down here, I've got some old strawberries there that I need to get out. Um, in here, still a mess, but again, all of the plants that need to go out. We've got some sweet peas here, um, marigold, French marigolds. We've got um, loads of stuff. We've got beans here, lettuce, fennel. I've, these are desperate need to go out. Look at them, they start to lose the nutrients now. We've got beans all along here that need to go out. Everything is just in desperate need of going out. And it's my fault, like I said, I've sort of run myself all my squash, courgettes, pumpkins, and everything are down there. They need to go out. I've got beetroot over there that needs to go out. We've got some flowers here. I've got lettuce. I mean, look at them, they're nearly full-size lettuce here. And in here, you can just see how far behind I am with getting stuff sorted. All my tomatoes are up there and down here, all waiting to go out. Cucumbers, they're coming on okay, so we got tons of stuff. I've got a load of dahlias over here. There's some peas I never got to put out and they just died off. Um, we've got a tray full of dahlias here. So it's an absolute mess here at the moment, but um, you know, a good few days and this lot will be out and uh, getting the nutrition it needs. But um, there are, you know, there's been quite a lot of big projects that I've been doing while I have been here. So things have uh, struggled a little bit. 
Another project I'm going to be doing now very shortly is replacing this whole wall and likewise on the other side that's what the door in the polytunnel was for and that's going to uh, finish this shed off and obviously seal up this side of the cold frames. All the poultry in the back there they still covered over um, because we've been having a lot of rain and I wanted to keep it out of the coop but um, they're happy enough to to be covered over. Those who watched the carrot video, there we are, they're all up, every single one. So now all I have to do is select the strongest out of them and get rid. So the carrots are all doing well, even in the buckets we showed. A few people said, oh, they don't do well in buckets, but look, look at that, all up. And you can see the swirling pattern, you know, we went sort of round, yeah, so. So that's all good. This is the watering system. You'll see a video appearing about it over the next few weeks, I should imagine. And this took a little while to do. But essentially, we've built in a circuit of pipework around the top that goes from the IBCs that are just over there. And you can see the pipe just going up there. And there'll be a pump that will feed this, a 12 volt pump and we have these drippers that will be pegged into each container and these will give out four litres an hour. So we'll run, the, 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 we'll run an experiment to see how much water each of these buckets will need and it will save us from having to come here in water. And what it means, if it works as I expect it to, then we will in future years be able to put another line of potatoes up here so, so in this small area there'll be five rows of potatoes the poultry hello girls all right so they're all here waiting for a bit of food i should imagine so they're doing all good right i've got a bit of mess here to sort out uh the pond well i cut back all of these trees because they were filling in the pond and um, so I cut them back to the fence line as you can see the trees are even breaking the fence so the pond is still doing really well it's gone over established now so I do need to get in there and sort out a bit of stuff in there and this area again is not really of my concern at the moment so all the trees again like the last video are still doing well um, all the fruit is doing well. And what I'm doing this year, in here, as you can see, I've got a few weeds that have come up I need to get sorted. But I'm going to be planting the squash, pumpkins and everything in here and letting them sprawl around the floor in this cage. What that's gonna do is, firstly, give me some more room so that I'm utilizing this space a little bit better. This is the other wall that is gonna be ripped out and again it will finish off the cold frames here and this will have a solid wall put into it so back on the fruit um you know you can see things are really moving on now um the, i mean the beds on these blackberries are absolutely mental so we'll be having a really good crop and essentially that's what's going on here at the moment so I know everything seems to look like a mess and that I'm way behind and everything else. But when you think really, it's just a case of getting stuff into the ground. The ground prep work, I mean, there's not, if you look behind me, there is not much to, to really do. Most of the ground is done. I'm no dig, so it's just a case of taking off the top growth. I don't need to worry about it too much. Um, and the rest of it's looking okay. So, um, but you know, like I said, we are a little bit behind. I've been too busy going to shows and, and everything else. And, um, but that's just life, isn't it? We'll catch up. And like I said, the next video, where are you going? <laughs> I'm gonna leave that in. Um, so, <laughs> The next video that uh, you're going to see now um, will have, you know, most of this stuff out and most of it tidied up. I'll have a little bit of time after I get back from York on Sunday. So I'll be going away 
tomorrow morning I'll be back on Sunday so this is now uh, Wednesday night and uh, I'll be going up to York Thursday Friday Saturday and I'll be home Sunday morning and then uh, it'll be game on to get everything out and then start sewing for the autumn and winter stuff believe it or not it sounds mental but you know so we need to do that we also need to sew for successional sewing so there's loads going on anyway folks uh, I hope this has given you an idea where I'm about at the moment I know it's a little bit different from all my other videos but um, I wanted to put something out just so you can see the state of play so that if your gardens if you feel that you haven't caught up with everybody when you're seeing all these fantastic things, you know, in um, in the garden, you know, on YouTube and Facebook and stuff, don't panic. There's loads of time. We can get it out and it will catch up. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.